This is rising tides, crashing skies. All right, it's a Ronaldo episode. Let's suit up. Mm. Oh, shit, that is so good. Okay. Um, hey, I'm holding on to this. <laughs> yeah. The second I saw his silhouette, it's like shit. In the, I, I shit. literally, the, you, the. Vouch for me. I literally just went, oh! No, we both pulled a Brad Jones. I went, oh! oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Damn it. It's like, and every Ow. time he, you know, it's like, every time he pops up, I want to give him a chance because I know he's coming from a good show with good creators and good writing. Honestly, the writing oh, in this episode. You know what? Even Orson Welles could occasionally direct a piece of shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but okay, let uh, okay. Even Orson Welles had to do a fish stick commercial. Okay, and Transformers the movie. <laughs> How dare you <laughs> imply that Transformers the movie is as bad as <laughs> we know of a small fjord in Norway? He must have been so drunk that they manipulated the voice like a million times to where he sounds like Doctor Claw. <laughs> he can't even tell it's him. Uh, um, um, but okay, so let's. He just. Uh, well, well, let's get this right. The writing in this episode is actually not that bad, because I'm imagining this writing coming out of a different character with a little better timing and, you know, a little just, faster and a little tighter, but it's just... Fucking this, Ronaldo! This character is so annoying and not a fun kind of annoying. There is nothing likable about him. I mean, everything down to how he's designed, how he talks, down what he says, what voice. he does. to his voice! I just... Oh. It's... You know, a part of me almost thinks this is like, you know, because every fan base can have, like, annoying fans that complain about everything, not that we would, or are, but it's something where careful I almost... Careful, Dodd. No, I... Careful. Can, can you imagine almost like if you're the creators of, like, Steven Universe and, like, someone just really annoys you, either a fan or a troll or something like that, could you almost see this as some kind of revenge on, like, a well, really annoying person? I will, I will say this. There was an interesting metaphor with at the very end how because he's all about hating the gems mm. he's like a gem hater and then his brother's like well but now that you've gotten rid of them you have you, you know there's there's no reason to that for your blog to exist and i always feel that that's that's the case with haters whenever i see some troll or hater posting i'm just like oh that's nice we gave you a reason to exist yeah <laughs> like it's just like they never realize when they're like posting their comments or something that i'm like you realize you justified our existence, right? <laughs> Just by doing that. It, well, with all of this stuff, I mean, like we 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 complain for a living, <laughs> and, 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 and then and then and then and then I got there and had like one of those moments where I'm gonna need a drink for this one, by the way, where I'm just like, wait a second, is that why Ronaldo exists? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> but because I was just like, shit. I mean, what else would I complain about? There's not much to complain about on this show. <laughs> Maybe it's only there so you can show, like, you know, Steven Universe. The show's feet are made of clay. <laughs> kind of thing. I, I, Maybe I always get an idea it was, like it was Rebecca Sugar's attempt to be like. I can't make it too perfect. They'll think I'm a witch. <laughs> I, have, I have to throw some piece of shit in here. I almost feel like there's this... I could be, I'm probably wrong, but there's this sick joy whenever they use Ronaldo, because I found out he's not a fan favorite. A lot of people don't like him. So I get the feeling there's just like this... So it's the creator's trolling. Yeah, us. yeah, just kind of like they're trolling away to be a hey, you know what would be funny? Let's do a Ronaldo episode. <laughs> Um, hey, you know what? We just had this awesome episode with all this drama. <laughs> let's let's just make next one Ronaldo. <laughs> That's almost kind of my thought, because honestly, and then they, I would then they, do then they get together with pizza and snacks and some beers and just watch the comments flow in and just like, yeah. hey, <laughs> um, there are yeah. times once in a while, like he's just very... such an aw he is like. If you took Michael Moore and Glenn Beck and put them into one unholy shitstorm, it gave like that the slow would be delivery Ronaldo. of Bill Maher. Yeah, just take would... out the snort, take out the. <sighs> he doesn't quite have the snort, <laughs> but yeah, it's like just really, all those annoying commentators really just do. slowed down to like half a percent. We really do hate all three of those people. Oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter the political affiliation. I oh no, like, I, I, I hate, hate those douchebags. <laughs> yeah, I hate them all. Even when I agree with them, it's like, I don't want to fucking agree with them because I hate yeah. you. You're an awful human being. So God help me if Ronaldo ever has a legitimate point, because it'll be like that. I'll be like, I don't want to agree with you, though. 
In fact, I may just disagree with you out of spite. Because I'm imagining some of these scenes, like, with the editing and the shaky cam and well, stuff like that. Where, no, but I'm imagining, like, what if, like, one of the gems was doing that, or Steven was doing that, or even Khan, even that. Like, this would be funny. Because it's fun, because we like these characters. But the, when someone that's yeah. so unlikable as him is just constantly, like, ugh! <laughs> the, so only, the only joke I liked was when he's like, oh, I'm going to the source. And like, he's like eight miles away yeah, from the camera and he can't hear them. Yeah, like, so I like him spinning in the chair. That was kind of funny. You know, him constantly No, the constant to sound of the spinning. Like, yeah, the like, like, sometimes those are cute. But like I said, if this was a different they were character, decent there, jokes. It's just all those jokes came with Ronaldo attached. Yeah. Um, I just... I cannot, I cannot put into words how much I hate this character. I might. Okay, so last night I've been catching up on X-Files and there's a character called the Trash Man who literally walks in and rips off the arms of people he doesn't like and throws them in the garbage. I would do that to Ronaldo. You know, I'm that's not gonna where, lie. That's where I'm at. At this point, the level of hatred is just so... I really like the idea that this could just be their way of trolling. Oh, I, at this point, fans, I'm sure it is. Which, in some respects... I kind of respect. Isn't this, I, isn't, I kinda, this, isn't this season two? <laughs> yeah, I think we're on season two. Isn't it, okay? So they, this, they then must they must know, these, know the yeah. reaction already. I I think it's just their oh, way. It's like me. we've had so many good episodes. Yeah. Let's just let's just fuck it with them and do a Ronaldo episode. Don't get me wrong. I respect that. That doesn't mean I have to yeah. like watch Which, it. We've done that a few times with some yeah. of our videos. I totally, re I totally respect that. That doesn't mean I have to enjoy watching it. I, I did a video before Mad Max that a, a, a lot of people really like and respect. It's kind of like, it's a, when does a joke go too far? It's a very serious uh, editorial. But I knew I was going to do it before Mad Max, which was going to attack all like the men's rights activists and stuff like that and all these things. And I was just like, let's, let's just see what happens. This will be fun. How dare you? I am so offended. I, I'm offended you're attacking a group that technically doesn't even exist. <laughs> and it's one of those things where it's like, that, that was intentional. That was totally done on purpose to see. <laughs> and so many people were even writing, did, did you not see last week's editorial? It's it's totally making fun of you guys. No, you just admitted you trolled us. <laughs> I'll never watch you again until I watch your next video and then I register my dis. <laughs> <laughs> well, Neil Gaiman was talking about that. He was saying how, you know, so many people come out and they say that they hate me and they hate my work and how come you're not like the old days and stuff and I said, well, that's fine. You can go, but they never leave. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, that's it's, a sense, the... like, it's the same thing with Ronaldo, like, with every fan base. I mean, this is every fan base. You know, there's a group of people that are dedicated to hating it, yet they always watch it. For some strange and reason, they don't, they don't realize it either when they're doing it. That's the fascinating thing. We like, we even kind of did. I'm we like, even kind of do it too with Downton Abbey. We know the last few seasons have been bad, but it's terrible. like we still watch. It. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> well, at some point though, it becomes like a train wreck. You're just what's well, the last fascinated. season too? It's like okay, we we gotta yeah. we gotta ride this out. We gotta ride out the last season. We we sat through all the other ones. So if we couldn't be any more white, yeah, no, it is the Downton whitest Abbey. thing we've ever done, and we are pretty friggin' white. Hey, um, it's got Maggie Smith, man. <laughs> well, Maggie Smith, hard part of your show. You're pretty white. <laughs> uh, or is it Dame Maggie Smith? Ah, who cares? I'm white I, enough already. I don't need to get it right. <laughs> those who have been knighted by Her Majesty do. <laughs> well, good. You figure that out. Um, so, you see what Ronaldo did to us? We're talking about Town Abbey. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's pretty obvious what we thought of this one. Um, I really hate that man. I Like I said, I, I might... I might respect it a little bit more just thinking that this is just their attempt at trolling us, in which case I'm kind of like, eh, okay. It's nothing to do with respect. <laughs> it has to do with, do I like watching it? No. I can tell it. I've seen things where, like, the best Oscar telecast ever was James Franco, and it was also the worst. But he was totally fucking trolling the Oscars. I'm like, I totally respect that, even though, objectively, I would say this is the worst Oscar telecast I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, we'll see him do it again, the disaster artist. But that, that'll be, you know, so has been trolling us for years, too. So it's a perfect choice. Oh, what are you talking about, Doug? <laughs> oh, hi, Doug. So, How's your um, sex life? Um, <sighs> Ronaldo. Ronaldo. I can't say his name. That's how much I, I don't like him. I, I don't even want to say his name right. So, yeah. There it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ronaldo! Here's to the next episode. Ronaldo's return! Oh! That's really good. You gotta buy this. 
Oh, 